I think we're trying to answer some of the questions that kind of um, really pique our curiosity, right? Um, kind of how did things begin? How did things look a long time ago? Um, how did things ultimately come to look the way they look today? Um, and what are the laws of physics that governs all of that? So the telescope I work on is called the South Pole Telescope. It's located at the South Pole. It has a very special camera on it. Uh, the camera is made out of superconducting detectors, and we use these superconducting films to measure basically uh, radiation from 400,000 years after the Big Bang. Antarctica is a desert, technically, the South Pole, um, and there's very little water in part because it is so cold. Um, the other thing that's really helpful down there is the sun rises and sets only once per year. So during the nighttime, uh, the observing is extremely stable and we can look at a single patch of sky 24-7. I think here there's a broad set of stuff uh, that we need to do to science uh, that I'm interested in doing. In particular here we work on making the detectors for the South Pole Telescope um, and that requires resources in uh, the Material Sciences Division, the Center for Nanoscale Materials, and ultimately the questions that we're trying to answer um, are part of the High Energy Physics Division. And Argonne's in, uh, a special lab indicates that all of these ingredients are kind of here on the same campus. The things I like most about working here, I think, are the people that I work with. Um, this sense of collaboration, and people from kind of different scientific backgrounds with different scientific interests and yet we all kind of work together uh, on this thing and we all learn from each other uh, and that's kind of a nice uh, meaningful experience. Uh, 